Customers have been asking a way by which they want to control the flow of an asset creation and publication and the subscription of that same asset. Today we are going to see how to do this using a working demo. My name is Lionel, I'm a senior solutions architect with an AWS and a data zone expert. So before we get into the demo, let's see why is this important. Three things come to my mind. The first thing is around compliance. Think about it this way. If there is something related to sensitive data, you would like to know what kind of certification is attested to this. Is there any legal consideration behind it? The second thing that comes to my mind is around regulatory needs, something around industry standards or HIPAA compliance. The third thing is, like I said earlier, an approval workflow. Are there security reviewers who have reviewed this asset? So what's the benefit of doing this? When you have this control over the publication of an asset, what you're essentially doing is creating some kind of a workflow. It gives the domain owners the ability to design exactly how they want to create this workflow, the producers to participate in it, and the consumers using what is allowed as appropriate. So what I have over here for you is a empty project called the insurance project. And under the domain units, for the insurance domain unit, the first thing which I want to do is go to this metadata form creation policy. And I'm going to add a grant for all the projects within this insurance domain and I'm going to say I am an owner. Fair enough. Okay. And the second thing which I am going to do is go to metadata forms. Now I took a liberty of creating some metadata forms for you. Metadata forms are nothing but key value pairs. So as a producer, for example, when I'm going to create some assets, I can say what kind of an asset this is. We are going to see this in action. So all you're going to do is you're going to create a field. You're going to say exactly, is this required? Is it searchable? Whether this is needed on the publishing or subscription levels. So just for ease, I took the liberty and I'm going to use this classification uh, metadata form while we are going to um, do anything on the publishing of an asset. And this, from a subscription perspective, I'm going to introduce this security team um, metadata form so we have some people from the security team reviewing this asset. Let's see how to do this. So I'm going to go back to the domain unit. I'm going to go to this entrance domain. I'm going to click on rules and I'm going to click add. From a publishing perspective, I'm going to choose classification and click add. I'm going to call this Asset Publishing Rule. Go all the way down. And I'm going to just do it only for this project, the insurance project. <coughs> and I click Add Rule. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to add one more rule. And this time on a subscription request. As I said, I'm going to Uh, security team I'm going to add this metadata form 
which has two different reviewers and I'm going to do this only for the insurance project. I'll set subscription row and add row. <coughs> so this completes the job of the data owner. Now what we are going to do is go more from a producer's perspective and let's see how this would look like when you are creating an asset. Okay, so I'm going to go to data, actually under lake house. I had previously added a customer asset, so I took that liberty. Okay, there's already a customer asset over here. So I'm going to go to data sources. I'm going to run this. And I have a new customer set. And if you notice, it's fresh. It has all this information. And if you notice, now the um, data classification related metadata form got added. If I try to publish it as it is, you see this, it says required metadata form must be complete mm -hmm. to publish. So let's do a couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and do just the minimal in minimal just to make this move. I'm going to generate some description. I am going to accept that. This is all good. And over here, I'm going to edit value. Let's say this is high. This is confidential information. It's SOC2 compliant and it has some PII data. It's okay. And I click save. All right, here we go. So now that I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and publish the asset. And if you notice, it says, are you sure you want to publish customer name? Let's cancel this for a second and let's click on edit. Just rename it to customer. Okay, that looks better. Schema is also good. Now let's try to go ahead and publish this asset. It looks good. So we saw how we were able to control and add certain rules about compliance. Now, and classification of the data, right? So now let's see how this looks like from a subscriber's level. I'm going to go back and I'm going to switch to a different project altogether. Let's say the HR project. And then I click on discover catalog. And they are interested in this custom asset. And this is exactly the data which we saw earlier, it's coming from the insurance project. And you see all this data, you are now interested. So when this HR project, over here when you click subscribe, now 
you see it is mandating on the security team to review this. If you try to apply this as it is and you try to request, let's uh, request, let's put reporting needs. Just a second. Before I do this, I want to go back and check on something. Back in the insurance project, metadata entities, the security team for reviewer two <coughs> required for subscription two. Okay, great. So I'm going to go back. to the HR project, back to the customer, subscribe, reporting needs. And if you see over here, it says required for subscription. So I'm going to go ahead and try to request. You see over here, it when you try this, it says failed validation. So I'm going to go and let's say this is John and this is Mark and I apply. And this time around, when I try to request, the request will actually go through. That covers an end-to-end -end flow from a data owner perspective a data producer perspective and the subscriber perspective. You saw how you could use these metadata forms to control or manage that workflow. Thank you very much. I hope you like this.